This is a, a freshwater bristle worm. He's about uh, half an inch long, very thin, like a uh, mechanical pencil lead, the real thin type. He's small, but he's big enough to see with the naked eye if you know where to look. There's his bristles. Inside is the uh, the pink thing is his, I guess, his main artery. And the brownish thing is his uh, gut. Intestine. Uh, I'm using a Nikon 10 power objective lens, which makes it effectively a uh, 100 power. By the time it hits the camera, I'm trying to find the head. There's the head. Uh, very hard to see. I guess he has some sort of a eyes or light sensors because he doesn't like the light. He's moving away from the light. And there's his tail end. You can see uh, those finger things inside the skin there. That's uh, those are gills, and he'll uh, he'll expand them when he needs more oxygen, I guess. He seems to have no heart. I guess he uh, pumps his bodily fluids around just by, uh, well, the gut there has a muscular contraction, so maybe that artery thing does too. It seems, yes, it does seem to have some sort of contractions going on in it. I love watching these things. I don't know enough about them though, like what are those little black things on the intestine? What are the things inside the body tube running down on both sides there? Are they nerves or what? I'm um, using a Nikon Fluofot scope built sometime in the early 1980s. There's the head. You see, as soon as the as soon as the light hits it, he's out of there. He doesn't want any part of that, which is kind of bright, and I don't blame him. But if he has eyes, they're too small for me to see him. And uh, I'm 
using a uh, Nikon Fluofot phase contrast condenser under the stage. <coughs> and uh, if it's in the bright field position and you offset it a little bit, you get a, you get a nice oblique lighting. And if you go a little further, you get dark field. I've never been a big fan of dark field, but this works pretty good. I don't know what this part is. Possibly a, a stomach or something similar. Some sort of an organ. And here we are at the head. See, he doesn't pull away from the light as fast this time. You can see right there where his throat starts. The pharynx. And here I'm adding water under the cover slip. It seems to have been drying out a little bit. You can see it uh, sucking in under the edge of the cover slip there. Yeah, he probably likes that. More oxygen to cool him down. See, I still don't see any eyes in there, though. Back to uh, oblique. I'm gonna try and get some of these uh, some better shots of this uh, tail. I've seen other similar worms that had. Uh, the gills, but there were many more of them, and they were outside the body, hanging off like bananas on a tree. There, see how they're expanded? And it looks like some of them, I just switched to 20X here, Nikon 20X plan Apo lens. Now you can see this sections inside the body. 
the segment dividers, I guess. I don't know what they are. Some kind of... There, see, so spread them out. I, uh, they've got cilia on them. Look at that. I didn't see that before. Yeah, they've got silly on them to move the water over them. Very interesting. It's the first time I've seen that. I sure do wish I knew a lot more about these things. Amazing view though. He looks like he's starting to get stressed. Maybe time to put him back in the aquarium. Like to take care of my little guys. Otherwise they won't come out and play anymore. Look at that. That's just amazing. Okay. Coming up on the end of the video here, I'm gonna I'm gonna put him back in the tank before he gets too stressed. <laughs>